Say. Go. At what point is it correct to say someone else's rights, even if they continue to pursue things of your rights? You never take anyone else's rights. You may ask for justice. You never ask for revenge. You may ask, Ya Rabbi, please, for justice. You may ask, but to know that in these days, this is not the days of justice. This is the days of tyranny. <laughs> then you will learn how to move away from tyrannical people, tyrant associations, and you're going to run to people who are not. Murids, definitely is forbidden for you to say, I'm going to take someone else's rights. What is this? Shaveni used to say, the people from Tasawuf, they're the only ones who can carry Isa alayhi salam's teachings. Not Christians. That is saying, if someone strikes you on the right, you offer the left. That if some pain hits you first, your instinct, the animal side of instinct, is to come up and to kill that one. But we're trying. No, we must, because Allah has not created us as animals. He has created us as Hazrati Insan. It, we must come to understand what is that Hazrati Insan that we have inside of us. Yet now to step on our ego and say, Ya Rabbi, as you like. You know what happens that time? That time our owner is going to take care of us. Because that time you say, I submit. You know what it is? If it is a rose, it's coming from you. If it is a thorn, it's coming from you. It is the same. You have a guide, you're going to understand it's coming from him. You don't understand, you're going to ask him. Ask? <laughs> really? Asking? Or are you going to try to understand? Not many understand anyway. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying very few people have understanding. So many people have knowledge they don't understand because they don't want to understand. What stops you from understanding? Your ego, your stubbornness, your anger stops you from understanding. Then it stops you from understanding that own that high station that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us with. Because you're still low animal characteristics. There was once, once upon a time, a dervish. And he entered into a barber shop. It was Juma before. And in the old days, they shaved their head completely. So he came. And there was no one there. He was alone. The barber knows him. He says, Ah, Dervish Effendi. He says, Allah. He said, Please sit. Fulfill the Sunnah. The barber started, Bismillah rahman rahim shaving his head. After a few minutes, this person came in. He is in Ashkia. Ashkia, a very mm, low level, angry type of person who is saying, My way. He came in <laughs> and he looked at the dervish sitting there. The barber is there. He took his head and he started knocking on the dervish head. He says, Hey, ball head, get up. But this Ashkia is actually smaller than the dervish. The dervish is pretty big. And dervish looked. The barber looked. Wanted to see what's going to happen. So he says, as you like, my master. He got up and he went away. This Ashkia, huh, he got more proud. He got more happy sitting down. 
and that barber is not feeling so good because he's thinking why that dervish is not asking for his right why is not fighting are you understanding this is dervish i'm not talking about regular people i'm not talking about people who are asking for revenge or asking for curses this is dervish these days mashallah murids are cursing It will fall to your head. Cursing, it is forbidden. In this month of curses, <laughs> we are trying to stop the curses from reaching to people. And you are cursing to people? Murids, in our way? Maybe you're not suited for our way. You may find other ways, but this is not the way of Sahib al Saif. Then you really don't understand. You may make zikr one billion times, but you don't understand what you are reciting. You don't understand what you're saying. In your zikr, in the khatim. What are we reciting? What are we saying in the khatim khajikan? Any of you know? What we're reciting about Shariat, about Tariqat, about Marifat, about Hakikat. What we're saying is, because none of you have asked, but you look very dark and very angry, and you're not interested. All these years you're not asking. What does that mean now? We're reciting it all the time. Say. We're not only asking forgiveness from us, but those ones who don't believe in Shariat, those ones who don't believe in Tariqat, in Ma'rifat and Hakikat, for those ones also we're asking for forgiveness. Then you don't understand what we're saying every uh, Fajr time, that we're reciting at z uh, Zikir time also. Allahumma slih, who? Naqshbandiya? Dervish? Allahumma slih, Ummati Muhammad. We're making, we're asking what? Make it easy for this Ummat. Forgive the Ummat. Love the Ummat. Ummat who? You think, oh, because you are suddenly praying five times a day, suddenly you think your Ummat and everyone else is not Ummat and you have the right to curse? Stop all this. Otherwise, in this month of curse, it's going to come back to you. There is no permission for this. We are reciting for forgiveness for everyone always. <coughs> Where are you learning from this? Wake up to yourself. Because we're seeing the heaviness is reaching to you too. You're not finding comfort. <coughs> Keep to the orders. Follow your share. Don't follow your own ego. So this one, this like this Ashkia. He got his head shaved. He was very happy prove himself is a man again, threw his money down, walked out. <coughs> Before you know it, there's a big commotion, the big noise, big screeching happened, people are screaming, the barber came out. And what did he see? He saw the man, his head was smashed. He came out, and there's an accident that happened, and his head got smashed. And the dervish was there, and the barber is saying, Oh, subhanAllah, you must be a powerful one. Because he knocked on your head, <coughs> and now Allah is knocking on his head to break it. Although I was thinking, why are you not fighting? Now I know, you don't need to fight because you're a very powerful one. You prayed that his head is going to be smashed, and it is the way that he knocked your head. The dervish said, no, astaghfirullah, don't ever say that. He says, it is not me. 
In this way, we don't curse to people. But, he's saying, the owner of this ball head is not liking what he did. Yes, we have an owner. Wake up to this. Don't ask for someone else's rights. Don't ask for revenge. You will pass through sometimes when you even, for yourself, you are even going to be ashamed to ask for justice. Because how many times we have been unjust to ourselves and to others? How many times? We are ashamed to even ask. But that time you're going to ask, saying, as you like, Ya Rabbi, as you like, forgive us. That time when they see, they say, protect that one. Come to that one, ordering the angels to come and to protect that one. And anything that that one wants, give it to him. Our purpose here is also not to ask. As Shaykh Fendi, Shaykh is saying, the way that Hazrat Ibrahim as answering to the angels, the way we must to say, my share is enough for me. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al Fatiha. Nabi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Right. Anything else anyone wants to say? As much as enough. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Fatiha. <coughs>